rate is the rate at which commercial banks can borrow money from the central bank for short-term purposes by selling government securities. Reverse repo rate is the rate at which the central bank borrows money from commercial banks by buying government securities. The repo and reverse repo rates are important tools of monetary policy as they influence the cost and availability of credit in the economy. When the central bank lowers the repo rate, it becomes cheaper for commercial banks to borrow money, which can lead to lower lending rates and increased credit demand. This can stimulate economic growth and increase inflationary pressures. On the other hand, when the central bank raises the repo rate, it becomes more expensive for commercial banks to borrow money, which can lead to higher lending rates and decreased credit demand. This can slow down economic growth and decrease inflationary pressures. Similarly, when the central bank lowers the reverse repo rate, it becomes less attractive for commercial banks to hold on to excess funds. So they tend to lend more, increasing credit and demand in the economy. Conversely, when the central bank raises the reverse repo rate, it becomes more attractive for commercial banks to hold on to excess funds. So they tend to lend less, reducing credit and demand in the economy. Recent examples of the impact of repo and reverse repo rates include the Reserve Bank of India's decision to cut the repo rate by 115 basis points from 5.15% to 4% in 2020. This was done in response to the COVID-19 pandemic to stimulate economic activity and support credit growth. Similarly, the U.S. Federal Reserve lowered its target range for the federal funds rate to 0 to 0.25 percent in March 2020 and used its reverse repo facility to keep short-term interest rates close to the target. This was done to support credit and liquidity in the economy during the pandemic. In summary, repo and reverse repo rates are important tools of monetary policy that influence credit and demand in the economy with implications for inflation and economic growth. Recent examples of their use demonstrate their potential impact in supporting economic activity during challenging times.